Is texting driving you crazy? It's driving me crazy, and I'm not even dating. I can't imagine what it'd be like to be relying on text messages when you're meeting somebody new. They're so cryptic sometimes. I sit there and I look at, my girlfriends will show me stuff that guys have written them, and my guy friends will show me what girls have written them, and there's no sense to some of these texts. If this is your only communication when you're first meeting somebody, and maybe online that's how you're talking to them as well, you've got to be really good about how you communicate via this, this way, because otherwise you're going to lose people really quickly. If people have to sit there and decipher everything you say, how is this going to work for you? If you like somebody, let them know you like them. So if you're going to ask them questions via text because you've met them just recently and that's how you're communicating, ask open-ended questions. Things that get them talking. If you just say, you know, where they can answer yes or no, you're not opening up the discussion. You don't want to sit there and have to guess for 25 texts down the road as to what's going to happen, when you're going to see each other. And then I'm also hearing about how somebody will go on a date, they'll get a text from them saying it was great, then they don't hear from them for three days, or they might not ever hear from them again. Please have the decency, if you've gone out with somebody, if you're not interested, just say, I had a great time, but I just don't feel a connection. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Don't leave people hanging. Don't date them a couple of times, keep texting them all, all, all the time, and then just stop cold. So the ones that I hear about the most are the people that text each other constantly. We're talking for like two months and they still haven't met the person. Come on people, why are you wasting your time and wasting other people's time here? If you like them, get a date set up and go out. Don't leave these cute flirty little texts and never ask them out. That's just, it's just kind of ridiculous. You really want to, if you're going to spend time on a dating site or getting to know somebody, you shouldn't have to text them for two months before you have a date. Like if you're too busy to text somebody back, you're too busy to date. And then there's the people who text, oh God, 15, 20 texts a day. Like that's just stalkerish. Nobody wants to be around somebody that texts pretty much nothing. You know, a few little words here and there, but they do it all day long. Text somebody when you have something to say or you want to ask them out, you want to tell them what a great time you had with them, how much you enjoyed being with them. Make the text like of substance, like give a really good piece of yourself in, in those messages because this is who you are. This is your calling card the way it is today. People aren't phoning as much and a lot of people are texting for a lot longer before they're actually meeting in person. And this is something that I, if I was back out dating again, I would say after a couple of texts, okay, let's meet up for coffee, let's go for a walk and see if there's a connection. If there isn't, move on. If I go out with them, they text me again saying, would you like to meet up? I didn't enjoy the time with them or I didn't feel there was a connection. I tell them that. I know it's hard to tell somebody things sometimes because you feel you're hurting their feelings and you'd rather not deal with it. But it's best for all people involved if you actually Discuss it the way you want it to be heard. Don't pretend it didn't happen. Don't pretend you ever, you didn't meet them and that, you, and that you didn't have all these texts back and forth. You owe them that, come on. And if there's questions about the texts that you're, you're not really getting what they're saying and you feel like they're almost kind of being aggressive or accusing you, tell them to call you. Like, or pick up the phone and phone them and say, I don't understand what this text, what do you, what do you mean by this? Rather than go back and forth and, and be sort of, uh, not understanding what's happening, why why spend so much time texting them and trying to figure it out? Just phone them and say what gives, what's going on here? Because otherwise, sometimes texts can be misconstrued and sometimes you're actually being really nice and they're taking it like you're being angry or upset. So never let, if you're on a good page with somebody and you are have been texting really great together and then all of a sudden something's changed, call them and find out what's happening and be be blunt about it and ask them. Anyway, again, another bit of a rant, but you know, this is something that I get all the time on my advice column. So people just have to step up and just say what you want. Don't, don't put up with, you know, five months of texting and, and stuff that's just gibberish. If they're gonna text you, make sure that they've got something to say. Thanks for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel.
and uh, don't forget to come back to my channel every Wednesday when I upload videos usually by noon in the morning Pacific time and please check out my column at uh, at cybersuit.com thanks everyone bye bye